just uh, walking around here. Gee, what you looking at, Matt? I don't know. The camera. Couldn't couldn't be that. The drone yellow. over there. Yeah, yeah. That thing is this is big. this is a drone that drives and flies. It's pretty big. I'm sorry. Hang on. It drives and flies. Drives like a tank. And flies. It's a okay, package. Speak up a little the bit. The drone that drives and flies. It transforms into flight mode. Goes into inspire mode. Flight times? Flight times around 20 minutes. Really? Drive time is about six hours. I bet. I bet. How many milliamp air, uh, our batteries are in there? And it's uh, it's configurable for what you can put okay, in there. Okay, okay. Lithium So you have a smaller model? We have a smaller model also. So this one transforms a little differently, but same idea that the legs come under. Wow. Pulled out of the way. Flight mode. And this guy actually folds up even smaller uh, for transport. So have you sold this to the military yet? We have a, a, a variety of customers that are looking at these. Um, you know, there's a lot of different applications from surveying, surveillance, inspection. You know, right now there's uh, the... Uh, ISR, Survey Surveillance Reconnaissance, so yeah. But the, the folks doing, you know, rooftop inspections after a hurricane kind of thing are in love with this idea because you can you can land this on a roof, right. drive it around the roof, you don't have to be flying the whole time, and your, your drive time on this is about three hours with a half hour flight time. So if I have a neighborhood with damaged roofs after a hailstorm, hurricane, whatever, right. I can fly onto the first roof, drive it around, do my inspection, hop to the next roof, drive around, do my inspection, and I can inspect the whole neighborhood from the seat of my truck. All right, I saw, I'm seeing an FPV camera. What is this one? That is a LiDAR. That's the, the Velodyne okay. Velvet LiDAR. Right. So we do 3D mapping. Um, the, the larger model is fully autonomous. Um, it runs hospital infection. Let me get out of your way. They take one picture. I'm wondering, uh, FLIR? It, it can be added. Yeah. I, like There's the, a variety of payloads that, that can be integrated with this. Oh, you guys. You have about a, a capability for a two pound payload. Two pounds. Wow. Pound <laughs> How much? Four pounds. Four pounds on right. here. And that, that does uh, include that 20 minute flight time, is just considering the four pounds. Carbon fiber? No, these are plastic. Yeah, they feel like plastic. Okay. And so you fly with plastic? Yeah, we fly with plastic. Wow. So what we found is with the carbon fiber, you end up getting some radio interference, and you screw up the cops. You guys have programs where you do the antennas on here. Right. Um, some are internal, I suppose. Okay, and so that, I'm thinking RTK and positioning and all that. So we can do RTK with this. This also works without GPS. Okay. So you can you can operate completely without GPS. Package? It's, it's a, comes as a package. That's. Together, like with the LiDAR and all this? So again, that's configurable with how you want it. We have this version you can get without LiDAR, with LiDAR. It depends on the quantities. Right. Well. And, and what's your use cases? You know, if you needed to do some 3D mapping while you're on that roof, yeah. the LiDAR is what you would go with. If you were just looking for camera inspection, we could go without the LiDAR. And, you know, so we can we mount a variety of different payloads underneath. Different underneath. Can we see underneath? Okay, right from here? Oh, no, it's a fan. So right from the center then. Right. Okay. So you know you wouldn't have much trouble. It just looks yes. never heard about it. Because we are not uh, usually commercial. They are normally on the on the garment side. That's what I asked you first off. Yeah. I mean I see bomb tech right off the bat. My landmines. All of that detection. But I never thought about just landing on the roof. Usually you're just doing programmetry and looking at the roof for hail damage, blah, blah, blah. But this can get you close, much closer. Yeah. Or you can take samples. Robotic Research Driven. Okay, well, Robotic Research is the name of the company? Yep. Okay, I want to thank the guys at Robotic Research for their time at CES 2020 and for showing me around the Pegasus and the newly introduced Pegasus Mini. The Pegasus has a four pound payload capability. The Pegasus Mini has a two pound payload capability. Both come with interchangeable camera configurations and interchangeable batteries, not a proprietary battery here. All right, everybody, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.